don't know about you guys, but I'm eternally grateful for people who think long. And uh, there was a group in October of 1956 that decided in Leo, Indiana, they would start a church. And 54 years later, after they had started that church, they helped a man, a young man, understand what, it, what faith looks like, understand what it means to be a husband who honors God or tries to, and what it looks like to follow God in a call on his life when he has no idea how it would turn out. And guys, I have to say, I'm eternally grateful that in that moment, while that church was investing in me and helping me, there was a group who decided that there needs to be a church in central Claremont County that would be a church full and filled and for messed up people who would be led by messed up people who would have a mission of inviting everyone and anyone into a life-changing relationship with the one who can clean up the mess. I'm eternally grateful for the people who in the beginning decided they would sacrifice time, money, and energy to put us into the place that we are today. Is anyone thankful for that? Because if you're not here and you were here, you were not here from day one, we are all enjoying and sitting in the sacrifice of someone else. And what we decide to do with it determines whether or not the crossing will be a long thinking church who will make a big impact over a long course of time or it'll be just a blip on the radar. Is anyone else thankful for people who think long? Guys, we have an amazing opportunity before us. And, and if we look at the beginning of the church, the Big C Church, we will realize that from the beginning, we have been called to, commanded to, be people who think long. Jesus said before he went up into heaven, you, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to not leave anyone out to the ends of the earth. That, that's thinking long. Thinking really, really long. 